Hey everybody, my name's Ryan, and here at eTrailer we install, test fit, and review a lot of different parts. That way we could try to answer any questions those of you might have. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. We're going to be taking a look at the Pace Edwards Bed Locker Retractable Tonic Cover. The Bed Locker Tonic Covers are custom fit for your truck, so you want to use our fit guide to ensure you're getting the right fit for you. So using a tonic cover is a great way to not only keep the weather out of the bed of your truck, but it's also gonna keep anything inside protected. So I know a lot of guys have tools and uh, material back here that they wanna keep protected and secure. And since this is an aluminum type cover, it's really secure. You're gonna have a really hard time getting in through this cover. So used in conjunction with the locking tailgate, you're not gonna have anything to worry about. All your stuff inside uh, the bed is going to be locked up nice and tight. So that way when you get off work, you're not gonna have to sweat trying to grab your tools or anything else out, bring them to the house and deal with all that. So you can kind of rest peacefully there. Um, another big thing is how the ton of cover is going to look and actually function. And honestly, this one is top notch in my opinion. It is more or less a flush mount design. So you're not gonna see it sticking up uh, over the set side of your bed and drawing a whole lot of attention to it. And even better is whenever you're driving, you're not gonna have anything blocking or obstructing your view as you're going down the road. So with everything all closed up, we know it looks great and everything, but honestly, I think the coolest thing about this setup is the fact that it is electric. So whenever you're ready to open it up, or close it back up, all you're gonna have to do is push a button. And I don't know if you've messed with other tonic covers before. Uh, some of them can kind of be a pain where you're dealing with the straps and hooks and, and everything else trying to open and close it. It's not really all that much fun. This one's super easy. It gives us two remotes, so it's actually wireless. So you can throw one on your key ring. And whenever you're ready to open it up, you simply just push open. So you push a button once, it'll open. And what's neat is it actually has a break. So let's say, for example, you only wanted to open it halfway to maybe put whatever it is you might be putting in back there. You'd simply hit the button again and it will stop it. So pretty cool little feature there. I bet it would come in handy if I had to guess. If you need full bed access, not a big deal either. You just continue to open it. It'll stop on its own whenever you're opening it and closing it so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And as you can see, even with it fully open, we pretty much have complete bed access. We're gonna lose a little bit of space up front there, but in my opinion, the trade-off is well worth it. Now, something I was kind of curious about myself, and I'm sure uh, some of you are as well, is how fast the time of covers get to open and close. You know, does it take forever? So I figured we'd do an experiment and time it. So I'll go ahead and hit close and start. And it's a lot faster than I would think it would be. And honestly, it's a lot quieter too. You don't hear this making a ton of noise, which is always nice if you can keep things a little quiet. Perfect. So it looks like we're getting pretty close. So right there, stop. So just about 20 seconds roughly. So to completely close it, that's pretty good. It, probably going to take you more time than that to do one manually so compared to that I'd say you have a little bit of advantage there at least a time savings. Just to kind of give you an idea on how flush this actually is uh, we got a pretty good view of it right here and it pretty much just shoots straight across. As far as the rails here on top of your actual bed rails I mean it comes up just a hair if I had to guess maybe about an eighth of an inch you can just about get your fingernail underneath there and that's it. So about as tight as you can get it and as clean as you can, in my opinion. And for those of you that are wondering how much space up here uh, we're gonna lose exactly, I figure I'd just take a quick measurement so we can figure that out. If we just go from the front of the cover there back to the seal, it's gonna be right at about 14 inches. So honestly, not really a huge deal. Still have plenty of bed space to work with. But keep in mind, the canister isn't gonna come all the way down to the very bottom of the bed like a 
toolbox or something would, for example. We're still gonna have a decent amount of space here. So maybe if you had some lumber or something like that, you could still slide it underneath there without any issues. You know, I have seen a lot of different tonneau covers. And to be honest, this one is probably the best fitting, or what I mean by that is how tight and sealed everything is. But if there's a will, there is a way. And to be honest, over time, water and moisture could potentially seep through those seals, you know, and accumulate in your canister. And if that does end up happening, not really a huge deal. There's a drain on each side that'll allow that to run down and out underneath the truck. That way nothing's puddling up in there or you're not gonna have to worry about anything rusting out. So, you know, inside you can be confident that it's gonna be nice and dry and stay in good working order. And that's really important considering too that there's uh, an electrical motor in there that needs to stay dry to function for years to come. So at the end of the day, this ton of cover really does check all the boxes for me, at least in my opinion. The ease of use and how well it works is top notch. The appearance of it, whether you have it open or closed, it looks awesome. No one's really gonna be able to notice it. It just, it almost looks factory, honestly. And even just down to the fit and finish, this fits really well and that's not something you really see with a lot of different tonic covers. A lot of them kind of fight you a little bit and just aren't exactly the way you want. And I did not have that issue at all with this cover. And you know, even just down to the little things, all the hardware it comes with, the clamps, everything is top notch and it's a tonic cover you won't be disappointed in.